Hello and welcome back again to Engineering with Pritham. And in this 61st video of PTC Crew Parametric Series. In this video, we will try to understand designated area in PTC Crew Parametric. Let's say you are working in an assembly or even a part and then you would like to define certain area as designated. And the reason could be anything. Let's say you want to mention certain area or reason is important or you want, you know, some specific type of things need to be done at that reason. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a designated area. So for that, uh, what I'm going to do here in this assembly, first of all, I'm going to open that part at where I would like to define the designated area. And here you can see I have opened this part separately. And now uh, let's say I would like to define this area as designated area. Okay. Now in order to define this area as designated area, what I'm going to do is uh, first of all, I'm going to select this and then I'm going to press Ctrl and C and then I'm going to press Ctrl and V. What basically it will do is it will copy this surface. Okay. And now I can click here on engineering, then designated area. Now let me click here on quilt, select quilt. Now again here in set, let's click on this boundary chain. And now we can select it like this. Now here we go. Here we can see we have made this area as designated area. Now we can also hide this, uh, the copy feature that we have created. And now what I can do is I can go here and annotate. And now I can even annotate here. Um, for example, let me add an annotation feature here. And this needs to be a leader type note. And I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to type policing required. Okay, so now let me hit enter. And now we have added the note here. And it seems like we need to rotate it downward. And there we go. We now have added this note here. And anytime you would like to hide it, you can click here on this graphics toolbar. And now if I go here in new drawing, and then uh, let's select any format as of now. So here you can see. This note also now coming pre-bundled with our detailing. So in this way, guys, we can utilize designated area in PTC Creo. And I would say it is a very important productivity feature as you can utilize it for machine and manufacturing as we have used here to specify certain machining process. You can also specify designated area, let's say for performing simulation analysis or even let's say in your team drafting is done by someone else, then in that case also, it is pretty easy to communicate certain important markers. So these I would say are just few example of how we can utilize designated area tool effectively. What's really great is how it help in organizing your design intent, making communication more precise. And before we wrap up here are few pro tips when working with designated areas. Always remember your designated area clearly to avoid confusion, especially in large assemblies. Use metadata to add extra detail such as material specification or inspection criteria. Regularly review and update your designated area as your design evolves. Now let me close this and let's see how it look in assembly. So I'm going to also close this. And seems like this one was the entity where we have defined the designated area. And now um, let me quickly enable the annotations. And there we go. Even I can see the information now being passed in assembly mode that this is the area where policing is required. So in this way, guys, we can specify the designated area in PTC Creo Parametric. And I hope guys now you have even better understanding of what do you mean by designated area in PTC Creo Parametric. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Engineering Pritam to follow our complete PTC Creo Parametric series and other engineering related topics. And I will see you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.